Next, I'm going to bring up Danbo. Everybody, a lot of people know Danbo. Dan on the Lamb. Used to be Dan on the Lamb. Uh, Dan's been talking about POW. Dan is what the Eugene police, in their notes, referred to. This is one of my favorite stories. They referred to him as a constitutionalist. Now, I'm talking about a subversive, huh? Danbo, Dan Ernst. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, it's actually really great to be here. I can't remember what year it was, but uh, they arrested me the morning we were going to have this great event at Wayne Morris. We had Apple Doobie playing and rocking the house. So, actually, the good news is pot is legal. Pot is legal. I, I tried to convince Dan Cruz of that, but he, he won't believe me. The bad news is they've got the guns. And that's why it seems illegal. Yeah. We've got this book here, it's called The Law. Probably hardly anybody knows what the law is. But the law is, <coughs> no one should plunder another. We're not just Clay and these other people called legislatures and them are the great potter that will form us into something that they think's good for mankind. No, we were given God-given rights. We were given creator-given rights to be who we are as long as we don't hurt anyone else or damage their property. And that's what the law is. And that's the only purpose government should be around. So I've got a few of these copies here. They're free to give out because they're trying to educate people that no more. See, when we have a law that just says you can't do this or you can't do that without you having harmed anyone or property. They have no standing. And what that is is words on paper. What's pa words on paper? Dictation. So now we're living under dictatorship. BS. So it's really kind of a spiritual crisis. We've got to stand up. We have to muster the guts and the heart and the passion and the faith to go forward. And it's really an educating. And with the system crumbling down all around us, this is an opportunity to move forward for liberty and freedom and justice for all. Yeah. And I'd like to end with this poem I wrote many years ago, I think it was like 420, 1993. And it's still pertinent today and is my heartfelt feelings. A plant from the planet Earth. What happened to the chain of command? Who said cannabis is prohibited from growing on the land? Why do some feel the THC? It certainly is good medicine and sacrament for me. And when the seed is wiping round, it is nutritious food from the ground. Nowhere else can a plant be found that has more uses than our own fucking fascist government's abuses. Almighty Creator. Almighty Creator, you pray. The plenty of your children plant cannabis hemp in honor of your ways. Remembering who? Who really answered to? And please continue to protect us from the fool. <laughs>